Hello old friends, it's been a long time and perhaps my um, surroundings will give you a small insight to some of the things that have been going on for me. Stanley, Stanley, yeah, no, not now, thank you. Um, if you've watched my videos before, or specifically watched my house tour before, you might recognise this room. You might not, that's fine too. But if you do, you'll know that this was Merrick's office, um, of which there are no more things in. So yeah, that's one thing that Mez and I decided to part ways. Um, after six years living together, uh, life in together, mm -hmm. and now it's just me and him. It's just me and Stan, and we're okay, and we are excited for the future. It was totally mutual. We just felt like we'd got each other as far as we could being together and the next chapter felt like it had to be a solo journey for both of us for, for many reasons. Um, now I'm not particularly a huge, I don't love oversharing so much on the internet. Um, I like overhinting more so. So yeah, I think I'll leave that there because there are two people in that situation and I don't really want to speak on his behalf even though uh, I'm sure he would agree with a lot of the things I would say. Um, we're still friends, we're still amicable, we're still kind of keeping in touch, we still have love for each other because that never, nothing bad happened, we just had to have a really honest and frank conversation and it led to him moving out. And now I have this journey in my apartment with my cat, with a office space of my own, which is exciting, actually. Now I've got kind of visions of grandeur to build this in like, to like a mini little shooting studio-y shop room where I can put all my kind of more crazier pieces of clothing you know so like it frees my wardrobe up because my wardrobe's actually got quite unbearable you can't really go in there anymore um so yeah i just felt like i needed to sit down this felt like a really good day to do it while this space is empty apart from a couple of pictures which i'm i think i'm just going to take everything out of this room and just start afresh i think you need to paint so this is just me checking in and letting you know very loosely some things that have happened for me. I'm, I'm excited. I, um, it's been almost like I've been in limbo for an extremely, extremely long time. It's been months, it's been about five months trying to get everything sorted and organized. And we're, I think we're, we're about 95% there with everything. Uh, we've just got some odds and ends and I'm sure there'll be things that kind of, you know, pop up and reveal themselves as time goes on. But yeah, I'm here, I'm fine. My brain's just not really wanting to kind of do much creative things because I've been quite, um, um, I've just been in survival mode for a long time. Um, but yeah. I guess the mess is th the mess thing is something that I felt like I should have I should um, mention um, other things which I'm going to probably keep private um, just because I don't know I'm conscious of digital f footprint and I think we all should be really and I think that I don't need to tell you. The most in, all the intense things of my life really um, because sometimes that makes the bigger mess than it needs to doesn't it when you kind of put um, words to situations that involve more than one person and 
Um, I feel like sometimes it doesn't feel very fair because everyone has their own version of events and things like that, or version of beliefs, maybe is a better term. But anyway, so yeah, I have been very active on Instagram. Me and my Instagram stories have just been slight hooligan vibes. Um, oh, and I am sorry, I will say, I'm just, I'm just gonna let this video roll. I'm not editing it. I just, I'm just gonna chat and get, and just kind of, you know, open the new page of a book and I'm gonna, I guess, apologize for the, for the noise because um, I am in an extremely echoey room for one. My washing machine is going full pelt and my street is extremely loud and full of traffic. But do you know what? That's my life. That's how things work here. And I'm probably not really gonna adapt on that because uh, it, wouldn't be, uh, it wouldn't be me then if I kind of did things properly. I'm a bit of a hodgepodge girl, so that's the way things are gonna be. Now, I have no idea what I feel like will happen to my content and the future. I have absolutely no idea. I just feel like I have an empty road ahead of me. I can't see anything coming up just now. Um, but I have been wanting to come back and do videos for a long time, but I just, it felt like I needed this, everything physical in the space to be sorted out before I could do it. And it more or less is apart from like a couple of pictures that are there and maybe, you know, pots and pans and stuff like that, that, you know, get forgetting about. But I feel okay. It's been a roller coaster. Lots have happened, <laughs> lots of things have happened, but good stuff, healing stuff, I think. Um, and now I am, ready for the future um it's overwhelming it's extremely overwhelming but i um I, I do generally feel really good about it it's it's an interesting thought going from sharing something with everybody to just being able to make decisions solely on the things that you want Especially with food, that's where I'm finding it the most, like, because Mez was predominantly the one that cooked. I'm not particularly uh, talented in the kitchen. And now when I go to the supermarket, I have to really think about what am I going to use for it? What, because I hate waste, I hate being wasteful. So I have to kind of think everything through really thoroughly, which I've just not done it. And I cannot remember the last time I've ever done that. Maybe in, even, never even, you know, like getting like, I don't know just the quantities and things and the type of foods that I get, I can get anything I want. I mean, I could always get anything I want, but you know, like, it's like, I don't know. When you're just shopping for yourself, your bill's a little bit smaller, so like, it feels like you can treat yourself a bit more and buy those things. So yeah, I feel like I'm shedding a skin and I think that there's going to be some big changes in my apartment. I feel like that's what I need. I feel like I am... Um, I don't know. I feel like I've evolved. And I don't feel like the person that made that last like video tour, for example, the apartment tour. And a lot of the things in the flat don't feel like they're serving me anymore. They feel like they're weighing me down. I feel like the freshness that I need um, needs to come into play a bit more aesthetically as well. My my clothes have changed. Just everything's kind of changed. I don't know how obvious it will be. To me, it's obvious, obviously, but maybe it reads more subtly. But yeah, I think that what my heart wants. Hello. What my heart wants is to kind of do a bit more chat bit. Sorry, I'm not looking at the camera much. It's just because I'm, I um, haven't thought about what I'm saying. So when I look away, it's me focusing and like going through my thoughts logically. But um, I think, I think that I would like more flow with my content, which for me looks like 
chatty and a little bit more um, day to day stuff rather than, you know, more themed or stylistic kind of videos, which, you know, never say never, but that's how I feel right now. And I feel like that's just me, that I feel like that's a way for me to kind of process and go through, which is why I'm obviously craving just chatting a little bit. And I think that's because, yeah, I need to kind of work through everything that's happened. And now I've had, now I've got this big echoey space I can kind of do that and I don't really have to um, play anything down or I don't have to compromise. Hmm. Strange. But yeah, that's what's going on with me. Well, that's what's been going on with me very briefly, very abstractly. And yeah, I'm not sure when I'll be back. I think I'll need a little bit of time now to adjust because um, the flat has only been mine for one day. Oh, like, it's been uh, totally empty for one day. Stanley, I can't bear it when you do that. It's not very nice with your nails on the wall. So yeah, I'm gonna go now. Eat some toast, drink a coffee and start working through the house. Yeah. Thumbs up. But yeah, thanks for sticking around, those that have. Thank you for checking in with me. A lot of you have reached out and sent me messages and, and things like that, and it's been really sweet. Sorry if I've not been very um, communicative. Uh, I felt like I've, I had to kind of like close off in a way um, and be a bit more select about who I spoke to and what I said and it's like protecting my energy kind of vibes if you know what I mean so yeah that's all that's going to be all for me today this is a short video a check-in video um, so yeah I'll see you soon I hope that you're well too and let's uh, be excited for the future, whatever that may hold.